Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm reviewing 3D Cart. You can find it at 3dcart.com. It's actually an e-commerce website builder. There are a ton of website builders for e-commerce sites where you're selling products on your site. Um, Shopify, Big Commerce, Open Cart. I mean, you could pretty much name anything and it's probably a platform to sell products on your website. Shopify is one that I like. 3D Cart is one that I've seen for years but never taken a close look at. They asked me recently to review it, so I got access to a demo account and I'm gonna show it to you in this video. So I'm logged into the main interface for a 3D cart. This is what it looks like with this menu on the left in gray. Uh, here's this main area here and on this main dashboard, there are, there it looks like there's a welcome video and a bunch of links to some steps to help you get started that are probably all exist over here, but these are just some shortcuts to walk you through some of the most important steps. At any time, you could click view store at the top and that'll open a new tab to take you to your store. So this is uh, the sample store that's kind of already set up so I can kind of click around and see how the platform works with some sample products already there. So before I jump into the platform, I wanted to take a quick look at the pricing to give you a rough idea what we're dealing with here, the prices range from $9.50 a month to $115 a month. And again, those are intro prices. So looks like it goes to $19 after the promo period, $19 per month to $229 per month. Uh, they say this is the most popular plan here. Looks like they vary by the number of staff users. Uh, they all have unlimited products. So here I'd have to click compare all plans to see the real, the real comparison. So you get a different number of email accounts. So all of these things are included until you get down here. RMA module, so that has to do with returns. A CRM, 3D feedback, customer groups, purchase order modules, FedEx returns, so a lot of higher level features available on these higher level plans. So you'd have to go through this list and see what uh, what what you need. I think most sellers are probably going to be able to start up, you know, in the basic, maybe plus, and get most of the features they need. And then you could always upgrade if you need some of these higher level features, like recurring orders is a popular feature a lot of people need, and that's only available in the pro level. It's worth noting that the credit card rates do go down. Uh, on the higher level plan. So for higher volume sellers, it might be worth it to pay for the higher plans just to get a lower rate. But this is a large number of features. I won't go through all these features in this video, but you could go to this comparison page uh, if you're checking out 3D Cart to see um, you know, what level you're gonna fall under. So I wanted to start by clicking on select theme here, even though I'll probably get there when I go through this left menu quickly. I do wanna show you briefly uh, just some of the design themes available. You did see my example store that's probably just using a default theme that was selected. There are a lot of free themes here. If you scroll over them, if I click on one, I can't really see anything but this small image. I could download a theme, which I've done for this one, and then I can click it, I can install it, or I could at least preview it to take a look. My initial impression with this theme and some others is that they're not amazing in terms of their design. This one particularly looks a little bit dated. Um, looks like most of them are responsive, so they will adjust for different uh, size screens like mobile. And these are the free themes. So they do have, it says 100 plus uh, free and premium themes. If I click on here, there are some themes that are available for, looks like most of them are $150. And it does appear that some of these may be a little bit more modern. Um, so you should be able to find a design that works for you with the number of themes that they include uh, in 3D Cart. So if we go back up to the left menu, I'm just going to walk through this quick and show you everything that is in here. We already looked at the dashboard. The next thing is orders. So this is where you're going to manage your orders. Uh, there's one sample order in here, so I could just show you what it looks like. If I click on it, I get all these details like shipping and billing, and then the order info like um, the, or the products are ordered, tax, shipping, payment info. 
um, ship, you know, you could do shipping labels and take different actions in here. There's also a phone order section where you could do phone orders. Uh, if I click start new order, I can add an order, you know, if I was taking an order manually over the phone. Next section on the left is products. So you'll spend a lot of time in here adding all your products and these have already been added as samples in this account. So if I click on one of these here, you can see all the options for a product. Here's the description that's added uh, in this basic text editor. So we got product info, the category, pricing, options, shipping info, inventory. We got additional info and product features. So there are a lot of features here and I'm sure it's going to have most uh, options that sellers will need to sell products. So there's options like variable options like size, color, related products, there's upselling, discounts, and we have advanced SEO and stats. So that's the product list. Here's where you would add your different product categories. In this sample site we have men, women, and accessories. They have all your images stored in this separate file manager, which is kind of nice. You don't always get that with an e-commerce platform. So you can kind of manage your files here and probably up, yeah, you can upload files here as well. There are reviews built in that you can manage here. And then a waiting list is a place where you can uh, manage customers who are waiting for products that are out of inventory. The next section is customers and this is the customer list. So we got that one customer from a sample order. And here's all the info you get from a customer. And then there's all these tabs up here for each customer as well. So then we have groups of customers, we got customer relations. So this is a CRM manager, customer relationship manager, which is one of the features that was listed on the higher plans. The next section under customers is affiliates. So you can actually add affiliates or manage affiliates so that people can promote your store and your products and you can pay out commissions. That's a nice feature that you don't get on all e-commerce platforms uh, or maybe it's an add-on. And I'm just going back to the comparison of the different plans because I assume that affiliate option is on a higher level plan and I don't see it listed but I do see sales rep module which may be it and that's on the pro plan. Um, along with gift registry is on plus and pro which I'm going to look at next um, So yeah, some of these features I'm showing you are only available on the $79 or $230 plan So yeah, that's the affiliate section and the gift registry section Next section is marketing. So I'll just go through this really quick to show you what's available This is a checklist to help you go through some different marketing tasks there are SEO tools, which can kind of help guide you through um, SEO steps. And it uh, looks like it just gives you a bunch of options, like adding Facebook like button, managing the robots text file, and then meta tags of your website. They also have Google tools, uh, just a place to put in your Google Analytics code. There's a promotion manager, which is probably adding discounts or different promotions. So if I click create, you can give it a name and it looks like it's a discount percentage. They also have autoresponders, so I can create an autoresponder campaign to mail, uh, send email to my uh, customers. There are newsletters. The shopping engine section just shows me a few different places where you can uh, promote your products like a Google with a Google shopping feed or product listing ads. The content section will allow us to edit the sections of our site. So if we look at my sample site, it would allow me to edit the blog posts here and then some of the static pages like the about us page. So if we go back to content, here's what the blog page looks like. And this is a single blog post where you just edit the text in a text editor. If I click on site content, I can edit the home page and then some of the other pages. So if I click on the editor for the home page, there is a page editor that I can launch. So you can add content. It looks like I can't edit these sections, so these would be edited elsewhere. I can edit this footer here, and I can add content to this empty section. 
and here in this box are the options they give you. So mostly just text and images. There's not a lot of flexibility in the design. You're probably going to be mostly working off of the theme that you select and then you're able to make some changes to that theme, but it's not a totally free form design editor. So it's not clear to me how I would edit the about page, for example. I'm going to check this top menu links and here's the about us page. This is just controlling the top menu here on my example site. So it does appear that one way to edit the about us page would be to go to the action column here and click content. And that takes me to the about page where I can edit the text. And you can switch between, and this is a very basic text editor, so there's not a lot I can do here except edit the text. And this is an HTML editor, so you can add anything in HTML here. So that's the site content section. The next section is my shortcuts. Looks like you can add some shortcuts here to get to your favorite or most used sections of the interface more quickly. And then we have settings, so there's lots of general settings. So let me just show you what's under store settings really quick. Basic store information, display options, checkout settings, and general settings. So here if I click on general, that's what I just showed you. And then under general, it looks like it's some of these are shortcuts to the same areas. Administrator access takes me to uh, another page where I can add users. There's also distributors, manufacturers that you can link up to. Checkout questions allows me to add different questions to the checkout, like forms. Design section, I kind of already showed you, and this takes me back to the themes and styles section, and I can edit the header and footer, titles and content, store status. The payment section under settings allows me to link up to a payment provider. Looks like they do connect with PayPal, Stripe, and Square, which are two of the most popular, but I believe there are other payment methods available as well. So there are offline payment methods like no payment necessary or money order, but for credit cards, it does appear it is only these here. Um, there may be some other options. Here you go. If you click add new, there's all these options as well. So plenty of payment providers to link up to. So you should be able to uh, connect the one or connect or find one that you like and can use. That's going to work for your 3d cart store. The last section under settings is shipping. So they have shipping methods, settings, insurance, handling, and country list. If I click on the shipping methods, there's free shipping, flat rate, you can add your own custom method. And then there's options for UPS, FedEx, and some other shipping options as well. So you can add these methods and probably link up to accounts with you know UPS or FedEx to get actual rates calculated in real time. The next section is reports. So I'm not going to go through all these, but let me just click real quick to give you an idea of what these reports look like. And they're just going to allow you to get different data on your store. And then the last section in the menu is modules. And these are add-ons that can be added. Um, I'm not sure if these are free or paid they don't list any price so if I click on settings it looks like I can enable most of these without um, any additional fee uh, this might only be available in certain pricing levels though so that's something you would have to look into so if we go back to my sample store the actual storefront here I just want to take a quick look at what the checkout process looks like if I click on a product Here's the product page, and again, this is going to look different for every theme, but it's got some basic features here like uh, choosing options, a quantity, uh, a gallery of images with like a zoom feature. If I click add to cart, here's what the cart looks like, and then I can uh, click proceed to checkout. And here's what the checkout page looks like. 
pretty basic billing information, shipping, uh, payment methods. And it's got the product information and the final price. And then you can click checkout to finish. So that's my quick walkthrough of the 3D cart platform. It looks like a pretty good option to me. I do like that they have so many features available um, that are not really add-ons. Some of them will require higher level plans, but overall a good option if you want to sell online. If you want to see some other e-commerce platforms that I recommend, I'll link to a video here where I go over two other options that I typically use myself uh, when creating e-commerce stores. So go ahead and check that video out and we'll see you there.